Hey everyone, today let's go delve into the darker corners of phone flinging with two completely off-brand blasters. I'm your host Dave, welcome to that. It's gonna be this thing and this other thing. And this one, I think there is some potential in it. So let's go on the table to check those out without losing any more time. So here are the two completely off-brand blaster. I mean, those two packages are English only. I live in Canada, I live in Quebec, you need to have some friends. So they put a sticker, a clear sticker with the writing of uh, somewhat of a good translation of what's inside those package. But here they are. I can hear you from here, I can already hear the question like where is the interest in those? Those, for me at least, they're really, really interesting. Knockoff off-brand blaster will often offer a possibility for potential in maybe maybe a basic game, a mod project, a LARP game where you're gonna have like a modded painted blaster uh, with certain rules, with certain capacity and the front loader single shot goes pretty much everywhere. This is a three shot, it's not really a single shot but judging on the design, it's going to be a manual select for the barrel. If it would be automatic, it would be crazy. But I really think this is going to be a manual way to select the barrel. But my interest in this one is if this portion is removable, that means I could just find myself a couple few more of those and have magazine. And this one, it's basically going to be a, ma a mod paint job or if there is a possibility for internal upgrade, that is what I'm going to do here. But first, we need to review them. So let's start with this one, Off-Brand Blaster. As you can see, there is no branding on it. Uh, only some writing and import code from the company who imported it. A few more language behind it that says uh, what it is or where's the trigger and things like that but other than that so this thing is a blaster soft bullet gun so it's two different terms to design a blaster so i guess this is a blaster let's open up this thing it should be rather quick and look like we have a small cutout target at the bottom of this card so let's not rip it off even more So in that very small package, we have the blaster itself that basically have no name and four of the small, cheap Chinese suction cup dart. First, let me check. There seem to be a restrictor at the bottom. How does this dart fit inside? Ooh, this is tight. Yeah, I have to say this, this is rather tight. Okay, return spring, not completely bad. Oof, and that sound weak. Like, there's no, there's no way to explain how weak that sound. Let me try a more standard dart. Let's say a neck shot dart into that thing. Let's try a skin dart. Oh, that's even worse. That doesn't sound very promising and for half dart. I can because there is a long dart post into this thing. Hmm. Let's try to quickly chrono it. I don't think we're gonna need more than four or five to test this one. Let's try it. It's a stellar 46 FPS. This is ridiculous. 42.6. I mean, this is this is really hard to be lower than that, but I really feel like this thing is really tight, like really too tight. 46.5 again. Let me try a stiffer dart like uh, Maybe a long pro X shot dart or dart zone max dart. Too long X shot pro dart. Oh my god, this is terrible. This thing is tight. Yeah, 42.6. Is there? 
Now there is no power into this thing. Let me try open it eventually and see inside if we can do something about it. Now for this second blaster. This one have a name basically as original as the other one, which is a dart gun foam blaster. Uh, and behind it there is shoot winner. I don't know if shoot winner is the name of this particular one, but what struck me at first is the really up-to-date design of those dart. I mean really look at those. It's been years since we saw dart with big head like that coming with blaster. Come on, what are you doing? This is ridiculous. Now, this one looked like an Ickshot Micro reskin knockoff with the little pullback prime at the rear, but there is this three barrel selector at the front, uh, which make this one a little more interesting. It might be cramped a little bit on this handle, but with a good paint job, this one will look awesome. That's pretty much what I like to do with those simple off-brand blaster. It's cool paint job or cool little blaster, maybe with slight modification inside, and this one seems to have potential. Let's open it. Well, in that small package we had those three dart where one is so crooked, this is awesome. Like this is quality there. You can see that. And you have this small freakish little blaster which feels a lot better than the other one, to be honest. But I am not sure about the quality of this black plastic. Is there? I don't think there is a restrictor inside. And it felt like it broke. It really felt like I just broke it. Oof. Uh, this is not inspiring, really. Uh, and this dart is so loose. It's the opposite of the other one. The other one, it was impossible to fit in. And this one, yeah, well. So, okay, there is a way to... You will just need to slide it and no, it is not coming off. But I think there could be a way. Yeah, to make it go off all the way. Probably just from one side. It would be easier. But yeah, there could be a way to simply modify it to have like magazine for this thing. Eggshot dart should do the trick for this. Nah. This thing is super loose. I mean, there's no way we're going to shoot adequately with that thing. 19. Really? Like 19? 36! This is abysmal. <laughs> That's why I like to open them and try to upgrade them because most of the time those performance are reflecting the poor quality and some rare times you find a gem but not in those two. 27.8 this is awesome. The dart posts look very small inside of this. Could I? Ooh, maybe. Maybe that could be amazing if this is the trick with this blaster. There's no way this thing did 208 FPS. I don't believe it. 42.6. It's a bit better, but it's not it yet. And the dart is tipping over because it recorded 177 and there is no way this dart was flying at 177 FPS. Okay, this is a small thing. It's kind of tricky to stop at the right place, but my guess is the little spring, there's a little notch here. The little spring that press on it is too, too, too loose, too weak. 
So maybe a swab of this little spring. Nothing else inside. Maybe a better spring. I got a few eggshot spring which are kind of stiff. And tighten this barrel a bit. This is not very, very good to be honest. This is rather loose. It doesn't help. But this blaster got some potential. Well, the main problem with those two would be the maybe the quality this plastic is not as nice and doesn't feel as nice as the average blaster this one <laughs> is really thin rather cheap this one feels a little more cracky but somewhat of better quality i got some hope for upgrade on this one and this one if the plunger tube allows for it uh, we're gonna take another look at them in another video where i'm gonna mod uh, maybe separately both of those blaster but for a mere five dollar canadian each it was worth the experiment in the end here i'm gonna draw the same kind of conclusion i had with my manic blaster uh, unless you are into modding exploration uh, cool project paint job you really don't need to take a look at those cheap blaster but if you are at five dollar they are worth the look they are worth the experiment uh, this one is kind of growing on me because everything is close and sleek and there's no protruding rod at the end but this one with the kind of small magazine is kind of intriguing too i really hope i will succeed in internally mod uh, either of them or both and then with a cool paint job so they will look better than those small cheap plastic things yeah, I think that's it for this small video. Knockoff blaster are worth the look. Just open your eyes. Sometimes you can find something very interesting. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at that old nerve guy. Please leave a like and comment. Subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to so notify for my latest video. This was Dave Patan. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.